Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Social. We're your host, Ricky and Steph. What up, what up, what up? Today's episode, we're going to be doing a spoiler review for the movie starring Gerard Butler called Greenland. And the title, yes, is partially fitting, but uh, doesn't come full circle till halfway through the movie, just about. But uh, before we get into that review for this movie, if you like the channel and you want to support this channel go ahead and uh subscribe to the channel and also like the video and turn on those notifications and share the channel with your family and friends and be able to be on the lookout for more of these reviews for movies tv shows video games and anime and stuff uh how did you like uh greenland it was pretty good i actually really enjoyed it um to me it was suspenseful um it had its own type of action not like, oh, fighting. They have some fighting, though. But not like, oh, not your traditional fighting in a sense or traditional action. It was like a race against time, you know, mm-hmm. life or death situations and stuff like that. So to me, that, that that's another genre of action pack. You know, it was it was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, the only thing that does worry me is something like this would really happen. I mean, hey, a lot of things could really happen in, from these movies and shows. I mean, that's where they get it from. Yeah, I mean, th- this this was scary. This was definitely a scary uh, thought process. I mean, meteors have hit Earth before, but none to that magnitude since supposedly the Big Bang. Yeah. But all in all, thoroughly enjoyed the movie. I mean, definitely enjoyed it. It was definitely a different take on the whole ending of Earth once again. I will say the ending, though, I'm going to get into, I didn't like that as much. But throughout the whole movie, the buildup of them trying to get shelter to to survive the incoming wave of meteors crashing down to Earth. After they thought everything was just going to pass right by. And then all, lo and behold, well... It's coming crashing down onto Earth. It's breaking apart. Mm-hmm. And then they discover that it's a big piece that's big enough to uh, cause the end of civilization as you know it. And it's crazy just because that one one hit and it's supposed to send a ripple effect around the whole world. It's crazy. And uh, one of the meteors hit right around Philadelphia. I was like, Dad. We did. Philly, Philly always gets tortured in these movies. Wasn't worse than Tampa, Tampa though. Oh, Florida as a whole was gone. <laughs> I mean, everything always picks Florida is gone. If Tampa was, being flooded out. Tampa got hit. I mean, in a way, though, it sometimes just deserves to Florida. That's always voting up. for Trump and stuff like that. That's messed and up. Tell Republicans. Anyway. Ah, but that. Uh, what is your favorite and least favorite moment for this movie? So, let me get on my least favorite, right? Let me mm-hmm. just step, step on my soapbox for a minute. I don't know if you've seen my, my post mm-hmm. when I was watching this movie. Why is it that people in movies always think that stealing someone's child is going to be putting that child in better safety when the parents of that child are actually good people. It just blows my mind that that happens in well, so many you movies. You see, they were little basket cases. I did. But, like, really, you want to steal this child mm-hmm. to make it seem like his parents aren't doing a good job. Mm-hmm. It, it, it was ridiculous. It was so freaking ridiculous. Granted, I, I'm glad that it didn't take them the whole movie to reunite with their son. Because mm-hmm. then it would have took away from the actual movie. Definitely. But, you know, I'm glad that that, was, uh, that resolved itself fairly, fairly quickly. But it just blew, blew my mind that some people think this way. Like, oh, I see you. You're protecting your child. But you're not doing a good enough, sh- enough job. Let me go ahead and take your child from you. Let's see. I think and... their whole 
thing was they didn't really care about the child. They were trying to just get the wristband to use it. True. Which was still a flawed plan because the father didn't have it. The father didn't have one and then the son was already rejected. Yeah, not Because of that. Because they almost got through without being scanned. It was just... True, yeah. He didn't have a wristband at all. If they'd have seen one, they would have been like, okay, go ahead. Yeah, true. That is true. My favorite part, though, would be um, just the whole race. Like, the whole race against time, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, it was like, all right, we, we got to get here because if we don't get here, then we're done. If we get here, then we can jump on the plane. They almost didn't make the plane. He did something drastic to make the plane. Then the plane, by the way, the pilot in this movie, impeccable, yo. Like, they went down and they landed. They crash landed. Mm -hmm. But no one other than the pilot. And co-pilot. And the co-pilot. No one else died. Like, that was some great flying there. But they lucky the plane didn't explode. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, that was great. But it was just like, at every moment, like, for example, when they were in, uh, I think, I forget what part of New York they were in. But they were in New York and it just started being like a, like a legit meteor shower with malt, malting comets falling on people. Like, that whole thing was like, oh, my God, are they going to make it? Are you going to make it underneath this bridge? I mean, yeah, every time you turned around, it was never hurdle to overcome. Exactly. To get and to then, the next it was point. just insane. And what blew my mind was, remember when the first initial uh, comet hit or the, the, the meteor hit? And it was just like silence. And then 30 seconds later or 10 seconds later, it was like a massive shockwave. Yeah. And mind you, they were in Georgia. Exactly. And it hit Florida, which is crazy because they thought it was going to hit right into the water, right out in the ocean, right off the coast. And it was like, okay, uh, we're waiting. We're waiting. Everybody's all excited, waiting to see. I'm like, first of all, why is anybody going to be excited? But mind you, he already got the alert in the mall while he was in the grocery store. Yep. Get stuff. And I'm like, mm, mm, mm. Government, once again, the government already knew what was coming. They did, obviously, because that the the landing didn't happen for what, another hour, like in their time, like not in movie time, but in their time, it, it seemed like it, it was like another hour because they left, still had the little party while it was going on. So it, well, it had no, to be within was, the hour. Yeah, it was within like a half an hour or whatever. Yeah, but so the government knew for sure yeah. that this was happening, especially to to, to pick people. Well, you can set already... out those alerts mm -hmm. and all that stuff. They knew for beforehand. Yeah, and the state of Florida was just gone immediately. <laughs> and that shot, for that, that Tampa, like when it hit Tampa and it just was decimated. Mm -hmm. Man, oh man, oh man, yo, there were so many good parts of this movie, but yeah. I had to pick those. Yeah, those. especially when they went out and zoomed out and seen the uh, imagery of the United States, and you could just see uh, Florida completely just gone. Like you knew where Florida was supposed to be at, but you seen. None of that was there anymore. <laughs> it like, was there. It was none, just there a minute ago. None of it. Like, nobody yeah. there survived. Even if you were in the air, you wasn't surviving. Which is crazy. Me, my least favorite part would have to be the ending. Okay. They get to this shelter. One, I had questions about the, this whole shelter thing, but I am not an expert in this, so... I won't hold them too much accountable for this because, to, in my opinion, a meteor hits Earth. You going underground is not going to save you, if you ask me. Unless you're going deep, deep, deep underground. Because the distance that they went underground wasn't deep enough, if you ask me. Now, maybe it could have been because of the location and all to help them survive, but a meteor is hitting Earth. It that goes deep down in the ground and causes ripple effects, earthquakes, and all that. Where you in a bunker or shelter underground, it's not guaranteed to survive, especially with the radiation and everything else. And they were underground for nine months or so. Come back up, he still looked like he went down there just a day ago. No extra big beard, none of them had none of that stuff. And then they miraculously able to open up the uh, doorway enough and it's blocking it. You had planes and stuff so close to it, but not close enough to destruction. I'm like, how? Oh, and then they was... just open it up like, oh, let's see if the air is breathable now. Nine months later. So they did say that the radiation levels were low. I don't know if you, they, they said yeah, it very low. I heard low. that, but I'm like, really, nine months though? 
I know some places, I get what you're saying, some places it takes years. I mean, it's, it does take years upon years. Let's look in, uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, Hiroshima? Uh, Russia. Whatever. Uh, Chernobyl. Wow. Uh, and that wasn't even a, a full, like, explosion going off in a way of sense like this. And it, it took decades before and life was sustainable there. Makes sense. I, get, I definitely get what you're saying. It was just like, I would have rather them just cut it once it hit and then do a second movie or, or anything. Or flash for like 10 years later or something like that. Yeah. Or something like that. I get what you're saying. It would have been a lot better, but sheesh, when they uh, looked around the world for dest- at the destruction. Mm. My favorite part would have to be, though, how they were trying to get every, everybody was trying to find a way to get to Greenland once they found out it was going to be in Greenland. And the fact that they actually had a nice supporting cast of actual people that have been stars on other shows and movies, including things on Netflix and other stuff like that. But once again, the black man always got to die. Oh and the way he died was just horrible. Yeah. Helping out. Which made no sense. So you try to, again, people trying to steal wristbands. Like, what was the purpose of you trying to steal the wristband? They're going to scan, yo, he, and they're going to get your ID and everything. He said, "Give me your, give me your band and your ID." Like, they're not going to look at the ID and not be you. I'm like, or they're the, the government point? for crying out loud. When you scan it, they're going to it's going to pull up a picture of you. Yeah, I'm like, what is the point of it? No way you're going to get with that band. And you're once he takes the band off, is now is voided because it's been broken off. And so you caused quite quite a few deaths, including your own, for it. And sheesh, did he get hit hard. But it is what it is. Did you enjoy the movie? Would I you recommend it? Definitely recommend it. And it's it's video on demand, 20 bucks. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it for sure. Definitely will recommend it. Very good movie. Um, another world ender. Yeah, essentially it's another world ender. I feel like Gerard Butler is kind of in that genre of like world ending saving the president mm-hmm. stuff yep. like that i mean hey we get another white house uh well i'm sorry uh what you call it fallen olympus yeah. is fallen for fourth one with them in it yeah so it's like people need to start protecting the president and uh we need to find a way to make our world safe <laughs> i mean it only thing i didn't like no don't get me wrong i would definitely recommend watching this other than what i mentioned in my uh dislikes and likes was the fact that the moment that they started to see that it was going to be impacting the earth, normally they would try to send out uh, missiles or whatever to break it up in outer space. Mm-hmm. So that way, no radiation or whatever affects earth. But you didn't see any of that. Unless they seen that it was no way of them doing that safely. But sheesh, goes to show you better. Hopefully you have a position or you work somewhere where you're needed to rebuild humanity. Because everybody that was selected was needed. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm more sure they need people that know technology. Facts. <laughs> you need us. But that, that was crazy. I felt bad for the family. It was, it was the terror jerk in the beginning. Oh, when they were driving away. Take the daughter? Take, yeah, I'm like, then they, you was there when they said no one else, no ex, no exceptions. Yeah, I mean, and I he, he made a very valid point. Would you rather us take your daughter, then leave her at the gate because mm-hmm. you know, they, and then your daughter dies alone, essentially? Yep. But sheesh, the destructions of everybody's life just going like that. And then the son talking about a life flashing before your eyes, before you die. I'm like, oh, yeah, that was deep. That, that was sad. I'm touching. But it was a great movie. Very Definitely good. great. But let us know your thoughts and opinions on that movie. And for those that might be experts in those type of uh, fields, let us know if uh, how factual some of those things were. And until next time. Mm-hmm.